This is Alpha Droid. I guess you have already heard about this custom room. If not, in this video, we are going to talk about some of the things regarding this one. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. I made a video already on this custom room some time ago. That was previous version and it is also now updated to the latest version. One of the best thing about this custom room is it's quite smooth. Um, of course, it's just device specific, but most of the devices will see if you're using any of the devices which are supported, the thing should be quite smooth for you. The custom room is quite smooth, but having some insane kind of customizations, this build could be a very useful thing for you if you want to looking forward to install a custom room based on the latest standard version and the latest security patch. We have new kind of settings UI available as compared to some other custom rooms. It brings in Nusantra style settings UI by default, although it can be customized, it can be modified by moving into settings. We have the option to enable or disable that. We'll talk about that later on. For now, if we move on to some of the options in security and privacy, you will notice that we have the fingerprint and face unlock both support available, which is good. If you use any of these face unlock or uh, we have fingerprint unlock both. If you use any of these, the option is available here for you, including this. Another amazing privacy features are present here, not in privacy, actually in security options. Let me show you here. We have trust, we have ignore windows secure flags. We also have the high developer status, which is working perfectly fine. We also have the app lock support available there. App lock is working fine and it also brings you the option to hide the apps. For example, if I open this, as you can see, hide from launcher. So that's good. And also we have storage encryption spoofing options available there. We have a lot of spoofing options present in settings, which we will look forward to in this video. But having a look at some of the security settings already there, ignore secure window flag is also so useful. It's present there. Here are all the customizations or features present in alpha settings. This is having all the amazing customizations or features which you have in CR Droid as we have a lot of Droid custom rooms present. And of course, this is one of those which named as Alpha Droid. Having a lot of customizations, a lot of features, a lot of things are inspired from CR Droid. But yes, a little bit of UI changes are also there. Let's move on to some of the spoofing options. We have a higher FPS in games, photo storage as expectedly. Also spoof your device as different model for Netflix. We have the high developer status option present, which also supports system apps. So simply open this and click on system. Then you will see the system apps are also present there. And last but not the least storage encryption spoofing, which simply spoof your storage encryption status to encrypt it. Also, if we move on here, one of the features which is present here, for example, if you're using any song, if you're listening any song, which is basically a media player, you can see the animation there. You can enable or disable that. So for example, if I now enable this squiggle animation, simply pause the music once, try to uh, try to start it once again, resume it once again, you will see the progress bar. We have this squiggle animation present there. Not every custom room provides you a feature to enable or disable this thing. So yes, that's good. Also, if you move on to the lock screen, unlike some other custom rooms, which are now bringing you a lot of lock screen clocks pre-installed, it doesn't bring you that. So lock screen clocks are missing from here. Although we have the weather options present, we still have clock font style. So you can use any one of them to apply on your lock screen. Also, if you move on to the quick settings panel, quick settings panel here, we have a lot of options available for you to customize. For example, the quick settings header images where you can choose any header images in your quick settings. For example, if I applied this one, as you can see, this is the quick setting header images right now. What we have, we have a lot of options to choose from. Also, the quick setting panel styles are there. You can also see automatic Bluetooth on option is present. We have the option for a lot of quick setting panel styles. So for example, if I've chosen this one, let me show you. This is a quick setting panel style. So here's some of these styles are so good. If you want these kind of quick setting panel styles in other custom rooms where it is not available by default, how you can do so, you simply need to install Iconify Magisk module, which is available for free. Install that and use it. We were talking about setting style at the starting of the video. And as you can see, we have the option to uh, use that. So if you use the AOSP style, if you're not into the customizations and settings, you can choose that. Also, if you are looking forward to dot OS style, which was one of the very useful, interesting custom rooms, you can choose that too. So this is it. These are the things available here. Also brings you a lot of options in lock screen. It brings you option in home screen, quick settings panel. Customizations are a lot. 
The ROM is actually quite smooth too. Based on CR Droid, all the features are also inspired from that. If you need this custom ROM, link is already available in the description. So make sure to check it out. This is all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. Thanks for watching.